these statistics are really pretty amazing. I mean, I, I was looking at them again this morning. I mean, see, we're all getting older, right? So we're saying that Ohioans 65 and older, that uh, it's going to increase by 50%. And if we're having all these falls, an older adult falls every two minutes. You go to emergency room, that's the last place you want to visit, I know. Um, I mean, two fall-related hospitalizations per hour and people who die from these falls. Because, you know, when you fall, break your hip, you break your leg or break your hip, and, you know, it, it's not good. It's, and so, look, there's no embarrassment for anybody to try to deal with their health issues. I don't care whether you're 9 or whether you're 90. It really doesn't matter. So we don't want you to fall. Can you prevent it? I think so. I think we can prevent it. But I also have to tell you that, and I don't know why this, this sticks in my head, but I got out of the car the other day and I tripped over this, this, the, uh, it wasn't lit right, and I tripped, and, but I didn't fall. I didn't fall because I've been exercising. So I'm sort of in control as much as anybody can of my own body. So if the time comes to trip on the steps or whatever, I have the strength in my legs to hold me up. Now, everybody can't do that, but many of you can. Take control of your own health because taking control of your own health means you take control of your own destiny. And you don't have to be dependent. And there's nothing wrong with being a little dependent. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But you want to be as independent as you possibly can be. Now, you got this website. I don't know. How many of you have a smartphone or a computer? How many of you do not have a smartphone or a computer? Raise your hands. Okay. And that's one of the things that my friend pointed out in the gym today. I mean, you don't know how to get on the website because you don't have a website. I would encourage you. Um, if you haven't thought about it, think about learning how to use the basics of a computer. It is not that hard. I know you're thinking it's really hard now. It is not that hard, and they ought to have some basic classes here just to tell you how to turn it on. So you, well, I'll tell you why. You want your grandchildren to be able to email you. That's how they communicate these days. Maybe you don't want them to email you. <laughs> but I, I tell you, I think it's worth it because it keeps the mind going, and that is as important as the body, is the mind, the body, and the mind is, is staying active, and it's also, in my opinion, it's, uh, it's praying. I mean, I think all that connects together. But, so if you don't have access to a computer or a smartphone, Somebody else can help you with this, but I think it will be helpful to get the helpful hints as to how you can keep from falling. See, this is one of these things that can be prevented. There's a lot of illness out there that no matter what you do, you, you can't prevent. But this is one thing. It's sort of like I try to tell people who smoke. Stop smoking, you can prevent illness. And, you know, that's a thing you can't prevent. And so, you know, trying to figure out how to be strong enough vital enough, flexible enough, and I think that's probably what Tai Chi is, I don't know, it's about flexibility as well, stretching, of which I'm not good at, I will tell you, I'm not good at stretching. So the website will give you tips every day, and I think the most important thing about that is remind you about this. Um, here's the thing that I didn't, I mean, these doctors now, I and mean, Bonnie has done a fantastic job of, with a comprehensive program, your doctor ought to check you for your susceptibility to a fall. Because if you know you're susceptible to it, you can do extra things to look out. And by the way, there is no shame at all in using a cane or a walker. Uh, you could use that till you're 110, for that matter. That's a good thing. Uh, but these doctors, when you see your physician, you say, I want you to really check me for falls. Am I susceptible to it? Uh, and by the way, Keep the lights on at night. Don't be wandering around, you know, with the, I'm going to save money on electricity, okay? Leave your lights on. You know, be careful in and out of that shower. I mean, you just have to watch, and that's part of what, it's scary, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to make sure that you, you get that design, get your son in there to tell him to build you a darn shower that doesn't scare you, because it's, tr it's tricky. It is tricky, the slipping and all that stuff. I know that it is. Um, but ask your doctors, 
to try to test you out for this stuff. And if they say, well, you know, you're a little susceptible to it, okay, well, what do I do about it? It's no different than finding out you have high cholesterol. You know, well, what do I do about that? Well, I mean, you do something about it. The same way you can do something about, about preventing uh, uh, these falls through your doctor telling you and alerting you to what the issue is. Um, we're going to have the businesses. This is pretty good. She mentioned the retail merchants. Okay, these are just business people. These are the ones that run the Walmart and the Costco and all the different businesses around Ohio. They're going to make an effort to try to do things that keep you from slipping and falling inside their place, which might be slippery floors, shine floors, dark areas, uh, places you want to go that where you can easily trip. They're going, they're going to work with all of us uh, to prevent these falls inside the stores, which we have to give them a lot of credit for, right? I mean, it's good that they're going to do that. That's really important. In our nursing homes, they're going to... Um, they're going to, we're working on these nursing homes, folks, to make sure that, they're, that they respect your independence. They're making sure that they are going to be places that are safe. And a number of these nursing homes are engaged in this and trying to make sure that it is a, a livable place, which is what's really important, that uh, you, know, you can eat your meals when you want to, you can exercise when you want to, you can get up and go to bed when you want to. You're not in the military where you have to take orders from anybody. This is, this is something that should be a home away from home, and that's what our ultimate goal is. And, of course, giving you the assistance that you need to be able to stay in your own home if you're physically able to do it. And if you exercise and think and pray and eat right, you'll be able to stay in your own home longer and longer and longer. Um, you know, we're trying to make sure, you know, I'm a servant. We're all servants. Some guy said to me the other day, you're a public servant, aren't you? I said, yes. He said, well, I'm the public.